this video we're going to look at what we call a derived unit. So a derived unit is a any unit in the SI system that is based on a another unit. So um, for example, uh, volume. So let me kind of explain what I mean by a derived unit. So uh, volume is basically the amount of space an object occupies. And so um, the unit for volume is liters. And um, to kind of give you a sense, uh, one liter is equal to one decimeter cubed. So that's what we mean by a, um, a derived unit. So in this case, it's it has its own unit liter, but that liter is actually equivalent to a length that's cubed. And that makes sense because if you think about volume, it's how much space something occupies. And there are three dimensions in space. There's length, width, and height, for example. So when you wanna figure out how much space something occupies in three dimensions, we have to consider its length in all three of those dimensions. Um, so l let me just kind of give an example. So we have a, for example, a cube. So if you want to figure out the volume of a cube, the equation for the volume of a cube is equal to the length times the width times the height. And for example, if the edge length here is one decimeter, um, then what we would say is, well, okay, so the volume is going to equal one decimeter times one decimeter times one decimeter. Uh, one times one times one is one, or one cubed, so that would be one. And then for units, we have decimeters times decimeters times decimeters, which is equal to decimeters cubed. So the volume of this cube would be one decimeter cubed. This is the same thing as saying it's equal to one liter. So a liter is a decimeter cubed. And really what we're basically saying is that in all three dimensions, this occupies one decimeter in all three of those dimensions. When you multiply that together, you get the volume. Now there are some other common units. So uh, one other common unit, we have um, the milliliter, which is a thousandth of a liter. And we know that one milliliter is equal to one centimeter cubed. So we have a couple of different unit conversions here. We have that one liter is equal to one decimeter cubed. And we have one milliliter is equal to one centimeter cubed. So you'll notice whenever we define the volume, we define it in terms of this cubed length or the, the length in all three dimensions. Now this is an important one. You're gonna see this one come up a lot. The one milliliter equals one centimeter cubed. And for those of you who watch shows that involve medicine, you'll, you'll hear this, oh, give him one cc of this medication. Uh, a cc is a cubic centimeter. So really what a cc is, is, or a cubic centimeter is, is a measurement of volume. So you're giving them one milliliter of whatever that medication is. Now let's look at unit conversions with this because the unit conversions with this are a little bit more challenging. So um, when you want to do a unit conversion with a derived unit, let's say that we want to convert 4.23 meters cubed to liters. So let's just kind of start to plan this out a little bit and get um, our heads wrapped around this. Uh, there's a couple of challenging things. So first thing we, we have that can kind of help us is that we know that for every one liter, this is equal to one decimeter cubed. So this is kind of helpful because now we have this in cubed, in cubed length. So what we really need now is we really need a unit conversion that allows us to go from decimeters cubed to meters cubed. If we can get from meters cubed to decimeters cubed, then we can go from decimeters cubed to liters relatively easily because we have this unit conversion. So this would be the unit conversion here. So the question mark in this is how do we handle a conversion where we have um, units that are cubed. And it, it's really relatively simple. What we're going to do is we're going to take our unit conversion. So if we look up the unit conversion, so if we go to the table, um, let's start to work this out. So the unit conversion for meters to decimeters is that for every um, meter, so 1 times 10 to the minus 1 meters, is equal to 
one decimeter. So if you want to pop over to the table, you can see that deci is times 10 to the minus one. So for every uh, so uh, every one times 10 to the minus one meters is equal to one decimeter. So that's how we handle that. That's where I came up with this. This comes from the table. So now the question becomes, how do we cube this? So let's take a look. So we're going to get a fresh um, working space here, and we're going to start to kind of work look, look at this. So we have 1 uh, times 10 to the minus 1 meters is equal to 1 decimeter. And we want to get the same unit conversion, but in cube units. So let's sort of figure this out. Well, we can kind of start to set up. Let's start to set up our unit conversion here. So we have our start point and our end point. And so our start point is the 4.23 meters cubed. And this is going to be helpful to do this. And we want to eventually wind up in liters. Now, the reason why I'm kind of setting this up this way is because now we can start to plug things in in the proper orientation. So, um, and then we have, we know that for every one decimeter cubed, we have one liter. So let's just get all of our unit conversions in. So now let's set this up. And what we're going to do is we're just going to start by setting this up with the standard unit conversion that we normally would. So we're going to pop meters on the bottom. 1 times 10 to the minus 1 meters, and then we're going to pop um, the decimeters uh, on top for every one decimeter. So now what we're going to do is we are going to um, cube this unit conversion. So we got to get this, we got to convert this to cubed um, units. And the way that we're going to do this is we're going to take the entire unit conversion and we're going to cube it. Okay, so how do we do that? Now, um, why do we do that? Well, we know that we have one decimeter is equal to one times 10 to the minus one meters. So we can cube both sides. As long as you do it to both sides, then you're gonna get um, the same thing, meaning you're gonna get the same proportionality. So let's do that. Let's actually, we're gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cube the top and we're gonna cube the bottom. So if we, if we pull this down and we take our unit conversion and we cube the top, uh, let me just clean this up. Okay, so we write one decimeter and we're gonna cube this, and then we're gonna have the bottom one times 10 to the minus one uh, meters, and we're gonna cube that. So we're basically distributing the cube to the top and the bottom. So let's sort of distribute the the one on top. So if we if we cube one decimeter, one times one times one, so if you plug this into your calculator, you would plug in one cubed. Uh, one times one times one would be one. And then we have to cube the unit to decimeters cubed because decimeter times decimeter times decimeter is decimeter cubed. And then we do the same thing for the bottom. So we take one times 10 to the minus one, you'd plug this into your calculator. Uh, one times 10 to the minus one is the same thing as 0.1. Um, so in scientific notation. So you would take 1 times 10 to the minus 1 in parentheses, and then you'd raise that to the third power, or you could do 0.1 times 0.1 times 0.1, and you would get 1 times 10 to the minus 3 meters uh, on the bottom. And then again, we cube the meters because we, we cube both the, the number and the unit. And now we have our unit conversion in terms of decimeters cubed and meters cubed. And we did that by, at the very beginning, so we take our standard unit conversion, we put it in, we cube the entire unit conversion, which means that we cube the top and the bottom, and when we cube the top and, and we cube the bottom, we have to cube both the number and the unit. So you see I cube the number and the unit, I cube the number and the unit. And uh, that gets us here. So now that we're here and we see that our meters cubed is going to cancel and now we're in decimeters cubed. So now that we're in decimeters cubed, we can pull our other unit conversion which is the, um, the one decimeter cubed is equal to one liter. So we put that on the bottom. One decimeter cubed is equal to one liter. And now we have our answer in liters. So this gives us 4.23 times 10 to the third 
liters. Now the way that I got that and I plugged it into my calculator is I take 4.23, I multiply it by 1, I multiply it by 1, so you multiply by everything on top, then you hit the divide sign in the calculator and then you divide by 1 times 10 to the minus 3, and then you divide again by one. So I divide by this and then I divide by that. So you multiply everything on top and then you divide by, and then you press the divide button every time you wanna divide by something on the bottom. So make sure you actually get this in your calculator, 4.23 times 10 to the third liters. So what we learned here is that if we wanna cube any unit, or if we want to do any kind of derived unit, derived unit, we can do that. So for example, if we want to figure out, let's say that we want to convert, um, let's do a simple one. Let's say that we want to convert two centimeters squared to um, meters squared, right? So we want to go from centimeters squared to meters squared. This is another simple uh, unit conversion that we can do. Now, centimeters squared, uh, a squared unit would be a, an area, right? So if you wanted to figure out the area of something like a table, that would be a length times the width. So that would be where you get the derived unit centimeter squared. That would be a surface area. Okay, so let's look at how we can convert this. Well, we're going to start with our um, two centimeters squared, and we're going to want to go to meters squared. And then we have to pull our unit conversion. And we know from the table that um, there are, uh, for every one times 10 to the minus two meters is equal to one centimeter. So again, I'm gonna jump back to the table. We see that for centi, it's 10 to the minus two. That's how I got that. So we come back here. So now we're gonna start to plug in our unit conversions. Um, so we plug that in here. So we take our centimeters on the bottom. So for every one centimeter, we get one times 10 to the minus two meters. And we're gonna to wanna to square this entire thing. And with this setup, we can then do that. So we take two centimeters squared. And we uh, start to square things. So we're gonna square the top. So one times 10 to the minus two times one times 10 to the minus two is gonna give us one times 10 to the minus four meters and then we square the unit. So I basically plugged into my calculator one times 10 to the minus two squared. I raised that whole thing to the, the power of two and I got, I got the number. Um, and then I take the unit and I square it. And then on the bottom, I take one squared, which gives me one. I take the unit and I square it and I get centimeters squared. Uh, the units are gonna cancel. So we're gonna get two times 10 to the minus four meters squared um, from that. I multiply two times one times 10 to the minus four, and then we're good to go. So this gives you a sense for how you can do um, derived units. So uh, volume is a derived unit that involves cubed. Uh, surface area is a derived unit that involves squares. Um, but in essence, I'm showing you how to do unit conversions that involve anything that's a base, uh, an SI unit that's um, squared or cubed, or it could be anything.